have a bonus video for you. So there's one last craft that you get to do as a very special end to this week's The Beat Sensory Camp. So you're gonna need to grab a couple things from your kit. You're gonna need to grab a bag that looks like this. It'll either be a blue bag or a clear bag, but it has five pieces of bamboo in it. So grab that bag and grab your patterned bag because some of the supplies you need are in there too. It might not be a blue bag, but as long as it has a pattern on it, that's the one you need. So you'll find some bingo chips and some other things in there. Grab that bag and your bamboo sticks and join me right back here so that we can make a pan flute together, your very own instrument. Grab those things and we'll get started. All right, so let's get started here. Feel free to pause the video at any point that you need to catch up or take a break and do your, uh, your steps, but this is what you need. You've got your five bamboo sticks, your piece of string, five bingo chips, they might be a different color than mine, some sandpaper, and some tape. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the bamboo sticks. You need to arrange them in order from the biggest one all the way to the smallest one. So line them up nice and straight and make sure they go from biggest all the way to smallest, just like that, okay? And then what we need to do is we need to take these little, or the sandpaper, and you need to sand off all the bumpy edges. You see how they're really bumpy right around the edge? You wanna make that nice and smooth because what you're gonna do is eventually you're gonna blow on one side of it to make a pan flute. So sand off all those bumpy edges, as good as you can so it's not too sharp. Do that on both sides of every single one. So pause here, sand all those pieces, and then we'll do the next step when you're done. So now that you have all edges sanded, you need to grab your bingo chips and your tape. You might need some scissors too, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna tape that bingo chip onto the end. One end has to be completely closed and one end stays completely open. So grab those bingo chips, put them on all five pieces and tape that on as tight as you can, just like this. You can get a grown up to help you if you need to, but tape that bingo chip on all five pieces, only on one side. Okay, so we've sanded everything, we've taped all those bingo chips on, now it's time to tie it together. So grab that string, your very first piece, and tie it on nice and tight to get started. Make sure you do a double knot so it doesn't come off. You might want a grown up to help with this part again because it might be a two hand job. All right, and put it right back beside them. And then what you need to do is weave in between. Do you know what that means? You're gonna go behind, in front, behind, in front, all the way to the end. So I wanna go behind, in front, all the way down to the top, behind, in front and then I'm gonna wrap it around this one at the end and go the other direction all the way around and this time the pattern is gonna be opposite so it's going behind this one crisscrossing in the middle and in front of the next one crisscross behind crisscross in front crisscross behind all the way back to where we started pull it nice and tight make sure it's nice and straight in a straight line do you see how it's looking like a straight line down there and then, oopsie, pull it tight and do it all over again because you want it eventually to be able to hold on all by itself. And this is why it's a two person job because it keeps falling down. So weave it through back and forth a couple times till it's nice and tight. And you can then do it again across the top here to make sure it's tight there too. Use that string, tie it up. If you have some extra beads, you can even leave a little handle, put some beads on it when you're finished, and then you will have your very own pan flute. I won't stop here to show you how, but keep weaving it in till they're all nice and tight together, and then I'll show you how to use it. So there you have it, your very own pan flute. You can leave a little piece on the side just like this and add your beads 
and then it's ready to play. See? If yours doesn't make a sound, you need to make sure the ends are really good and sealed. You can add a little cotton ball in the bottom or whatever you need, or just tape it really, really good. The ends at the bottom have to be completely sealed to make a sound. And now you have your very own instrument.